Maria Olachende is now joining us now uh, for more on that uh, report. Hello, Maria. Talk to us about how uh, Mohamed Adamu got confirmed today as the Inspector General of Police and the admonition given to him by the President. After the validity session, they had um, the meeting for the police council. It was a closed door session that lasted at about an hour. So after the meeting, the governors came out to brief us that the president has confirmed Mohamed Adamu as the new inspector general of police. And like you heard him, he was um, he, 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 he didn't come to him as a surprise. And um, he said he's made up his mind to restructure the Nigerian police force and to reduce crime and fight insecurity to the barest minimum. They are going to build on the strategies they have on the ground. If that is not working, then they have to re-strategize and keep re-strategizing until they um, eradicate the criminals in the country. They went asked about the, the insecurity in the Northwest and the challenges being faced. Instead, they will keep re-strategizing re and ensure that they, bring, they reduce crim the criminal the, the brutality there to the barest minimum and make Nigeria a crime-free country. So what are the successes uh, he has recorded and what he hopes to do next now that he is acting in a permanent capacity? Well, from what the governor's briefs, going by his antecedents, that the IG has done very well and all 36 governors that attended um, the, the council, the, the meeting, all commended the president for appointing the IG, uh, Mohamed Adamu, as the new Inspector General of Police. Definitely is out there to do more, improve security in, other, in all regions that, that are found wanting. All right, let's talk about uh, another event you covered earlier, the Executive uh, Economic Council uh, valedictory session chaired by the Vice President. Uh, what was uh, the discussion like, you know, as the administration is winding down? It was an emotional session today at the last National Economic Council meeting and the valedictory session when governors took turns to commend the vice president for his exemplary leadership qualities. And you know, the, the vice president was amazed when they described him as a, as a selfless Nigerian, a patriotic Nigerian for that matter. And they also said at the, during the National Economic Council meeting, there is no Party different, whether your APC, your PDP, that the vice president deals with them as Nigerians. So for the governors, they commended him for his leadership style, for the kind of person that he is, and giving them an enabling environment to thrive, despite irrespective of their parties. Then after the commendation, each governor took time to talk about the way to move the economy forward in terms of infrastructure, health education and for the governors the outgoing governors the vice president advised them that the task is not done yet that they should ensure that their community benefits from their wealth of experience indeed i was about to ask you what the new the incoming governors and returning governors were saying about their projection especially in generating revenue for themselves internally and the general economic output uh, they will be looking at going into the next administration? Well, for the governors that are returning at the end of the meeting, they all made up their minds to work as a team. The team, because they've been a team right from the beginning. So that same work that has put them together is what they will continue to do for each one of them would ensure that in their state, they go back to the enjoying board and look at how they can generate revenues. And at the end of the meeting, another thing that was actually passed was that they should ensure that the welfare of Nigerians, the welfare of the cities of the state are properly taken care of. So that at the end of the day, they will look back and say they have actually served well. Maria Olashende, State House correspondent there, just talked to us about how the Inspector General of Police has been confirmed to be acting in a substantive uh, position and also the National Economic Council valedictory session held earlier today as well. She had a really busy day.